Okay, thanks for joining the video. Today we're going to talk about the prefer option set or preferred option command. If you haven't used this yet, this is a fantastic way that we can have a little shortcut to create the things that we want to create in mid-journey, especially if you're always doing the same thing all the time. So you've got a set of prompts or a set of ideas or a prompt sequence that you really like. This is a great way to avoid having to retype that in all the time to get the same result. Now, unfortunately, I'm showing here Midjourney Alpha, which is version six. This is currently what's available at the time of filming this video. Um, we can't use that with this because they haven't like turned that on yet. So we have to go back to Discord to do it, right? And here we're back on Discord. I'm on my private server. And before I show you how it works, let me just show you some of the commands I use. So we can just do uh, prefer option list gives us the list of all the ones that we've created. And as you can see, I've got a whole bunch here. And um, so I'm just going to, I'm not going to show you all these. I want to show you some that I, that I use all the time. And they're right here down at the bottom, right? So the one that I'm going to show you today is speed, right? So speed is the stylized command with different levels of creativity. And of course, zero is raw, meaning exactly the words you use. And a thousand is just go bananas with creativity. And this allows me to create a whole bunch of images really super quickly without having to re-roll and redo some things. I can just see what mid-journey is going to give me and then I can just uh, play with the ones that I like the best, right? So let me show you how this works. And then I'm going to show you how to create one. So first off, let's just start a new image. And um, I like doing skulls for some reason. So we're going to do skull. We're going to do watercolor. We're going to do the color blue. And then here's where our preferred option command comes in. So we just do dash dash speed okay that's it now watch this when i hit go of course it's going to ask me hey do you really want to do 11 prompts with this and of course the answer is always yes so yes now it's processing all 11 jobs so here's how i'm about to make 44 different images in mid journey uh in about a minute but I didn't type in all of those stylized numbers, right? So this is the beauty of doing this, the preferred option set is you can dial in some different ideas, especially if you're doing things all the time, and this saves you a lot of time. It's a shortcut to awesomeness, okay? So here we go. Midjourney is creating all this stuff, and I'm not going to go in and, and, and show you these in great detail. I just kind of glance through them. And you can see we're instantly doing each of these. We get four of the stylized 1,000. Here's 800. Here's 600. And, you know, in the new Midjourney Alpha, of course, it does it in rows and it does it a little differently. And hopefully we'll get to that soon. Uh, if you're listening Midjourney, we really want that, right? So you can see the power of that. I'm not going to glam over that. Let's just show you how to create your own, right? So we go to uh, slash uh, prefer, spell it right, prefer option set, not list, but set, all right? Now, the option, the, there's two things we have to create. We have to create an option and we have to create the value. The option is what we're going to name it, okay? Now, I'm going to have some prompts that I'm going to put in and I'm going to say uh, water or I'm going to say watercolor, right? <clears throat> and this is going to give us the option, right? So we hit return. Now, whoops, I already had one that was named that. Sorry. So let's do it over, right? Prefer <laughs> option set, right? We want to say watercolor, right? And then that's going to be our option. And now we have to put the value in. So here's my value. I'm going to type in watercolor, uh, loose pen sketch, because I like how that looks. Uh, Chiaroscuro, uh, spell it correctly, which is a, 
Italian Renaissance way of doing like faded backgrounds. And let's make sure I spell it right. I'm a horrible speller. And then color penciled details. Okay, so that's going to be our preferred option set. So that's set up now. So anytime I say watercolor, that's what's going to happen. So let's try this over. So let's do uh, imagine and let's do skull blue dash dash watercolor. So watercolor here with the two dashes is now our preferred option set. And then guess what? It's, it's going to make us a grid of four images with this whole prompt. And I only had to write in watercolor. I didn't have to type in all the other prompts to get the same thing. So if I'm using this all the time for my look, my aesthetic that I like, here's a really fast way that I can do that because I'm typically using the same prompts on a repeated basis. And then here's how you do it quickly, right? So um, anyway, so what's developing it right now, and of course, when they do it for the alpha version that's no longer on Discord, I will be really happy, right? So here's our image. Open it up so you can see it. So this kind of has the watercolor look, but it has the sketchy kind of feel that I really like. I really like the one here in grid three. That looks really cool. I'll probably use that for something. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. And if you need more instructions about tips on using MidJourney better and faster, please subscribe to our newsletter, which is publishes weekly at midjourneyexperience.com. I'll talk to you later.